Kia ora nā, and welcome to Rarotonga, where we have the beautiful scents of the Pacific and our local te are Māori. The smell of flowers envelops you as you arrive and you feel welcomed by the beautiful scents of flowers. Tipani, te are Māori, gardenia, te are teina, jasmine, you name it, all whipped up in luscious flower rays for you. The flower garland is more commonly known with the island of Hawaii, where they call it a lei, but we call it here a, e i, with an, a little glottal stop. So here we have a lot of variety of types of a, the a kaki for the neck, the a katu for your head, uh, a tiare made of flowers, a roti made of leaves, and they're all for different occasions. Historically, making a and wearing a is about adorning yourself. What we're doing is celebrating our true essence and spirit and our connection to nature and our connection to our tupuna, our ancestors. All you need is your basket, or if not, just a plastic bag. Just looking for any flowers, beautiful flowers. We've collected Tere Māori and Bokenvillia and this will probably make about two A's. I've got this uh, Kiko. We rip it off the palm tree. Just need basically this part here. I'm using it as a needle to sew my A. And I thread the cotton to this Kiko here. Just make a hole. Yeah, pretty much just make an A out of this, this Kiko here. I've got here the Tere Māori and I'm just going to show you how to thread them through. I'm just going to slightly break the middle like that and then just thread them just through like that. Our other way is to hold the Tere Māori like that and then just thread them through, turning them either way. No matter what you use or where it's from, you can make it beautiful like this. The magic of the egg, you're basically wearing a live, fresh essence of our island and the person who made it, made it with love. So that is pretty much what you're getting. To start off, it's basically like doing a French plait. You start yourself off by simple knot like that and then you've got like two legs to start with and you add in a little bunch like maybe two at a time you lay them in like that and then you plait around and every time you do another fold of the plait you add in two more this bit that's kind of like crossed over now is the last one that's trapping these ones and it's the one that we're going to lay the next two, scrunched, put them on top of that one there and this is going to plait in and secure it. And you keep building it up until you fit the circumference of your head, join the two ends together and you've made an eikatu made out of roti. We wear a in celebration to make ourselves look beautiful, to celebrate the fact that we have these flowers in our garden and, uh, and also just to celebrate our culture. If you're thinking that it looks too hard, it is not. All you need is some flowers that will last a night. You just need to kind of like bunch them up, thread them on, put them around your head or your neck and uh, can't finish it off unless you have a nice big smile.